know several things. We know that the know-how in terms of how to make a crude weapon has exploded over the last 10, 15 years. The second thing we know is the nuclear material, the highly enriched uranium, plutonium is spread all over the world. And without the material, you can't make a weapon. And the third thing we know is the terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda, but not limited to Al-Qaeda, are seeking this nuclear material and would like to make a weapon. They've said so, and I believe them. As nations like Iran and Pakistan, North Korea get nuclear bombs, then the probability increases that one or more of those bombs will fall into the hands of a terror group. The classical notion of deterrence was that there were some consequences before which aggressors and evildoers would recoil. In the world of suicide bombers, that calculation doesn't operate in any comparable way. And if you think of the people who are doing suicide attacks, and people like that get a nuclear weapon, they are almost by definition not deterrable. And if you have terrorists get something, then you don't even know the return address. So I think it's a very dangerous moment.